Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. This is having the, like, you're on this on this high point, right? And um, and every you can kind of see from a different perspective. I feel like you're having a victory out here, but um, you're also strong enough now to see people's karma. I feel like, you know, if you would have seen it earlier, you would have gotten yourself involved in it somehow. It could have played on your emotions. Um, you know, Spirit wanted to make sure that you weren't going to be vulnerable to anybody else's karma. So now I feel like you're you're able to witness this, okay? I'm also seeing that you may witness like several people getting their karma. Um, these are people who have attacked you in the past. See, so yeah, you've you've started a new cycle. Spirit wanted to get you to the point um, through this last portal, right on one eleven. I'm seeing this is the portal. Okay, I'm seeing you manifesting as well. Reaching for something new. Spirit needed to get you to this point. I'm seeing that you're confident here. You know, you've been around snakes, but you're about to step on one. Like, um, yeah, Spirit Spirit wanted to get you to a point where, um, where you could remain out of the karma and not feel like you needed to help in any way or be involved, okay? It would have played on your heartstrings too much before. All right. Yeah, see, now you're ready to witness people getting their karma from a higher advantage point or from a higher view, point of, point of view, okay? And they are about to get their karma. They know it's coming in. They're thinking that maybe you have something to do with this. Okay, they could be getting their karma right now. They're thinking that you did it, but you did it. You're an earth angel energy. Yep, and there it is. Karma is dancing on top of them. What did I say? You are about to be able to witness this. Spirit has put you in a position of safety and protection. Okay? Oh, boy. And these people are going to get... I feel like they're going down. I, I'm just getting the sense that, you know, this is the hand of the divine handing karma the club. You know, like, bring them down. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. You could be dealing with a Virgo. I feel like these people do, whoever this is, it, feel, it feels like they are out in the cold. They may be searching for information on you. And they can't find any. Okay, so you're being protected. You're not speaking to these people anymore who's getting their karma. I feel like you're being blessed with a new beginning. Okay, and you've cut these people out. See, you had to reach the point where you were cutting people out and making a, a clear decision. You're getting blessed. As, as you get blessed with this new beginning, these people go down. They could be suffering some illnesses. You may even find out that somebody has passed away. Yeah, it's a celebration in your life. This kind of wanted to turn off, you know, on its side. But I just feel like it's you're celebrating something here. There could have been a lot of gossip about you as well. I feel like they're blaming you. For their karma okay they're thinking that you did some kind of magic spell or something on them but you didn't do anything besides create some kind of open like an opening or an opportunity for yourself to start anew yeah now somebody may want to come in and apologize they may even want to bring you some kind of gift some kind of offering <laughs> They think that there was some kind of spell work done, I feel. Because it's uh, they're thinking it's awfully strange how, um, how all of a sudden a new cycle starts and boom, they get hit with karma really fast. There's a lot of chaos, a lot of drama going on behind the scenes that you're going to witness. 
Yeah, they're feeling out in the cold. Look, there's a lot of sadness, a lot of sorrow, anxiety. They're going to be having a, a huge loss of money as well. They could end up being broke here. Barely having enough to make it. Maybe even losing their home. You could find out that somebody has lost their home, their job, and they don't know what to do. I feel like this is something that um, people want to keep hidden. They want to keep their karma hidden that they're getting. They don't want you to know about it, but I feel like you're going to witness it. Because now the Spirit is saying it's um, you're ready to see this justice happening in the background for you. Okay? Yeah, somebody here is going to end up possibly even homeless, jobless, moneyless, penniless, <laughs> broke. They could even have um, health issues. They don't want you to know any of this. They want to try to hide it. They're all under judgment. I feel like it's multiple people. How many skulls do we have in this picture? Let's see. One, two... Three, four, five, six. It could be up to like six or seven people that are all under judgment. And they're just, spirit is, uh, this is like doom. I feel like everything bad is, not everything bad, but I feel like a lot of bad things are going to happen in this person's life or these people's life. I feel like it's anybody who betrayed you any they could like i said it could be five or six people okay a whole group of people this could consist of exes family friends it doesn't have to be just lovers all right yeah see they think that you put them under some kind of spell or put did something here but you didn't do anything. You've actually been taking, taken out of this situation and put on high ground. That's where you are. You're on, a high, you're on high ground. So you can see a whole new perspective. You're going to be able to witness something. Oh, my gosh. They are going down. Yeah, you're, um, but you're ready to see this now. See, if you had seen these people in this situation with the Ten of Swords in their back before, before you were completely healed and it, before you were moving on, you would have gotten yourself involved in all of this, okay? Because you're, you're, you would have wanted to open your heart to people, try to help them, talk to them about it, that kind of thing. And Spirit wanted to make sure that you stayed in a safe zone. You're in the safest zone you can be. You're, you're the one on high ground. Okay? All right. And these people are going down. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Aries. Yeah, look. And they're going to have to walk away from you or um, maybe stop. I feel like these people maybe projected their stuff onto you. They've hurt you. They've, they've sent you spiritual attacks. Yeah, they're in spiritual prison right now. They're going to have to leave you alone. They, they think that you did something to them. But I feel like they were sending spiritual attacks to you this whole time. And they're just, now they're stuck in it. Oh, yeah. Spirit's got them wrangled. And this, I feel like it's everybody. Anybody who went up against an earth angel. Anybody who heard an earth angel. And just, I feel like, I feel like it was a group of people who just sent you a lot of bad energy. Okay? Yeah, now these, now whoever this is is angry because they're getting their karma. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be a Leo. Um, you could be a Sagittarius, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius. Did I say Sagittarius already? Virgo, Aries. There's a couple of people who did you dirty, okay? 
There's a couple of people who did you dirty and left you behind in a mental prison. Now they're in a spiritual prison getting their karma. But you ended up, see, you're freeing yourself. You ended up um, just working on you. Okay, you've escaped this mental prison, but they can't escape this karma. All right, what else is going on? So they're really out here losing. They can't support themselves anymore. They're about to lose a home. They could actually end up homeless. Oh. I feel like they can't take action on anything. If they, if they want to start something new, um, I just feel like they, 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 they're starting to lose motivation. They're starting to lose their energy. They may be feeling very drained. Um, so they can't actually have a success, I feel. You could be dealing with a Leo Aries Sagittarius, and if so, this person here, um, they're, they're getting very frustrated. They're the kind of like, I'm seeing them on a very short fuse right now. They're angry, they're upset, they're jealous. They're really upset because they're getting their, they're, they, all of these people are getting their karma for how they treated you. You know, they had toxic ways towards a blessing in love towards the holy grail couple love yeah look I, I feel like these people gave you empty promises or um, they cut you out cold they were harsh they were nasty they were rude they were they gave you lies you know I feel like they were toxic uh, there's three people here three people at least three to you know six people right that are all getting their karma. Oh, wait. I have a couple left out. I'm not going to take these, but yeah, the Empress. On the Empress. You you are the Empress. Um, let's see, what else can you show me? Their Wheel of Fortune. Coming out in reverse. Yeah. I feel like this is a cycle that's closing out. You're being led to move forward, um, trying to put all of these pains and the painful memories in the past. You have been betrayed a couple of times. There's at least two lovers in this pile, okay, that have backstabbed you, betrayed you, sacrificed you, all right, put you in third parties maybe. And spirit is leading you to calmer water. See, they, they're getting you out of harm's way. And um, they got you out of harm's way in, an, in a high position to be able to watch the karma. And they did this in divine timing, um, waiting for you to be confident and healed enough to be able to witness it. But you are about to see some things now. See, here, here you are blindfolded, stuck in your head, like kind of like, when am I going to see my justice for everything that's been done to me, right? And here you are. These, these two came out one right next, uh, one right after each other. Now your eyes are open and you're looking in that direction and you're able to see what is about to happen to these people, okay? Yeah, so I don't know what you're going to find out. It's going to be different things. There could be some people going to jail. Okay, I've got the jail card out here. There could be um, a loss of money, a loss of a business. Okay, uh, and maybe they started a business and now they're losing business here. That um, Somebody is going to lose their home, their job, their money. They're going broke. They could be getting sick. And someone could actually pass on. Yeah, look, boom, ten of swords. Okay, ten of swords. Yeah, so you are going to definitely witness these people getting their karma. It's going to be different for each and every one of them. Okay? All right, so what else can you show me for my beautiful collective? Yeah, and karma's coming in fast. I feel like, like I said, they think that you, they think that you sent all of this to happen and you had nothing to do with it. 
okay? This is all the universe doing this. Um, so, yeah, they, they think that you cast some kind of spell or something, but I see you as being innocent, an innocent earth angel. Um, let me just get a couple more. <laughs> they may want to apologize real quick to ho hopefully escape this karma, but you're, you can't do anything to stop their karma, okay? Yeah, they're, look, their life, they're on shaky ground. Their, um, their whole foundation is kind of, it's almost like the, um, their world is being turned upside down right now. Yeah, it was all because of the betrayal. Uh, all of what they did to you, that's, that's why they're suffering all of this, okay? All right, so give me some advice. Yeah, see, they want to know why. Where was that card? I just saw the why card. All right, they want to know why. Why is this happening? Chaos and conflict. That's what they're going through. This is their karma, you guys. And you get to witness this. You know? Or you are going to find out. Somebody's going to tell you. Um... Yeah, go on the, see, they want to come in, they want to come in and apologize to you now quickly because they're thinking that if they do, their karma will stop, but you are not in control of that, okay? Yep, you're done, you're releasing these people, you're releasing these connections, you've got nothing to do with it, and I feel like you did this a long time ago when they released you. When these people were horrible to you and um, sacrificed you and betrayed you, they actually, you know, they kind of kicked you out of their life. And you haven't been a part of it since then. So you had nothing to do with this. You haven't been casting spells or playing with magic. You've been busy. <laughs> You've been busy on a glow up, creating something um, successful for yourself. But they, that's part of it, though. They see you getting blessed. These people see you getting all of these blessings, and they're getting this horrible karma. And they're, this is one of the reasons why they think you did this to them. But you've been keeping to yourself. You've been working on yourself, maybe working on a project at home. You've been isolated from them. This is being very isolated. And that's the truth. Truth be told. Yeah. Yeah, everybody's lives over on this pile is going to change drastically. Their, their lives have just changed. Their, their world as they know it is never going to be the same, really. I mean, you know, um, yeah, they're go really going through it. And they're, they're just getting what's due to them. They have to pay a karmic debt. They're getting their karma. And you are out here getting blessed. Because you stayed out of it. Because the divine. And look at where you are. You're on higher ground. Okay. This is the position spirit has had you in. Away from all of that karmic crap. Okay. So just, just be grateful and be very thankful that you are not a part of this. All right? All right? 